Hello techies. Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Someone is working on marketing. That will be a separate department. Someone is executive level. That is a separate department. Likewise, we used to understand till today. That is how the experience with which I had. But here the whenever we talk about departments, we call it as organization. Not necessarily, or we as this. What is the type of this organization? Everything is an organization. A company is an organization. A region is an organization. A matrix organization is an organization. What is the type of organization that we're talking here? What is the type of the organization that we discussed? Supervisory. Supervisory is a type of organization. What is the subtype with selected department department? The reason we do not have a straightaway department is Like, let's say, your sales department is now very big. It has four different managers. For different managers, how many departments you have? One. Sales department. It has just four managers. So how would you create the reporting hierarchy structure in that particular organization? How many organizations would you need to create in Workday? How many supervisors organizations do you need to create? If you have four managers. Supervisory organization should be one only. Then how would the members of those organizations report to their individual managers? Four different. Four different. Four more, four more. How many subordinate organizations will you create? If there is four managers, we have to create four. So there will be four subordinates. Now, what will you name those? Or what will be the type of those organizations? It becomes challenging. It becomes challenging. We have to think about it. Now in large organizations, very large organization. Think about an organization with, say, 100,000 people. The part of it wise, there may be, let's say, 50 departments. If you group them based on the type of work that people are doing. If you do it based on the functionality, let's say sales department. A sales department will easily have, let's say, 500 people. At the IT support team, maybe it will have 2,000 people. If in the manufacturing you will have 50,000 people. How will you organize them? How will you? There will be many. Many different managers for those manufacturing team, right? Your department is manufacturing, but you have 50,000 people there with, let's say, like 400 managers, then how do you organize that? For that you have to create supervisory organizations in World Day. And, like I said, supervisory organizations are similar to departments, but I did not say that they are equal to departments. Okay.
we have a subtype of department. That is what we are going to use it to mimic a real world department with a supervisory organization. But a supervisory organization is only the manager and subordinate relationship. Who reports to whom kind of structure? Okay. I have a question, Chris. So do we have multiple departments under a world supervisor organization? Of course you can. Okay. Okay. So one more part. It's not related to the current concept, but do we have a business in it? Again, as a part of our world day, our structures. Yes. That will be a customer organization, right? From the world day delivered organizations, we will say like, let's say, a factory. Let's say your organization is structured based on the factory. Correct. It can be like, okay, or maybe the plant like our China plant, our Shenzhen plant, our Germany plant, our Mexico plant, our Vietnam plant, India plant, and so on. Based on that, you have a different or structured. How to do that in World Day? Maybe factory is not a delivered product, a delivered all type? Then we can create a custom, then we can create a custom organization type, but still, still, you have to create a supervisory organization structure. Because without that, you won't be able to hire your workers. Then you will relate or tag your workers to a particular factory. We are not there yet. We will go. We will slowly be recovering this organization. But the primary concept is of a supervisory organization is who reports to whom? Correct. So yeah, many, a lot of, in a lot of the companies, in a lot of the implementations that we have seen, what they do is they will just create an organization name as the name of the manager. They want to keep it simple. Name of the manager is the name of the organization. Let's say Surrender is the manager. They will create an organization called Surrender. All the people who are reporting to you will be hired in that particular organization. Okay. So I just wanted to understand the hierarchy again. So it's like, okay, business unit is again come under the supervisory organization. Business unit is a different organization type. It's a custom organization that we will create. A worker may be associated with multiple different organization types. That's what we saw, right? One worker may be assigned to different workers. Sorry, different organizations like company, like company, and let's go to this slide. Workers that tie to multiple independent organization types, each with a different purpose. The purpose of a supervisory organization is what? What is the purpose of a supervisory organization? Yeah, to maintain the hierarchy. Who reports to whom? Right. Basically, it's about agency. Right. That's all. Right, that's all. Okay. Who reports to whom? Right. Now you might say that, okay, our organization is structured on the basis of departments. Our organization is structured based on factories. Our organization is structured based on, let's say, sales divisions. Write different requirements. 
different requirements. There are different requirements based on different types of entities, different types of enterprises. Yes, based on that, we have to find out which type works best. Shall we create a custom organization and then relate it to the workers? Yes, we will talk about that later. But now the first thing we have to get in, get ready, is the supervisory organization structure. Because we need to understand who reports to whom. Got it. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.